Hey guys, welcome back to Living in the Mom Lane. If you are new here, my name is Mandy. I am so excited to be doing today's What's for Dinner because this is in collaboration with Jennifer from Cook, Clean, and Repeat and also Mandy from Mandy in the Making. These two ladies are two of my favorite YouTubers and Instagram mamas and I love watching them. They have orchestrated this open collaboration for anyone that has a YouTube channel and wants to add in a video of their what's for dinner and put it into this playlist and it is just phenomenal. There are too many women to give a shout out to each one of them. I do know my friend Brittany from Mama's Time Out is also doing the collaboration. And like I said, there's just so many other women, I can't tell you who all of them are. But what I can do is down in the description, there is a playlist link. So if you are in a cooking rut, let me tell you, you won't be if you watch this playlist. There are tons of meal ideas. You could probably honestly make out a whole month, if not longer, of a menu plan by this playlist. So definitely make sure that you click on the playlist and you go through and watch everybody's videos after you watch mine. Let them know that you came from my channel and tell them hello. And I also want to just personally thank Mandy and Jennifer for doing this open collaboration. I feel pretty special that I can say I collabed with um, Jennifer and Mandy even though it's an open collab, but whatever, that's besides the point, right? <laughs> All right, enough of me flapping my jaws. Let's go ahead and see what's for dinner. So our first meal is pulled pork. And if you've watched any of my videos, my what's for dinner, you will know that I used to order from a company called zaconfresh.com but they went out of business and I really missed them because that's where I bought all of my meat in bulk. And I think this is my last pulled pork, which makes me very, very sad. So I'm just pairing it up with some mashed potatoes. I've got the potatoes already cut up cooking and I decided to saute some mushrooms in a lot of butter. And I used the Slap Your Mama um, seasoning for the mushrooms and they tasted so good. Normally when I make my mashed potatoes, I use regular milk, but we were out. So I just went ahead and used some heavy cream and my husband said they taste pretty good with the heavy cream. I did not have any of the mashed potatoes because I was trying to start cutting down on the carbs because I'm going back to keto. So I already pulled the pork out of the Instant Pot and shredded it up, and I'm making Amelia's plate now. I did make them some corn because I knew they would not eat mushrooms. And this is my husband's plate. We also had his little side salad, mashed potatoes, pulled pork, and sauteed mushrooms. Our next meal is steak and baked potatoes and a side salad. What I'm doing right now, this was actually earlier in the day, or it might have been the evening beforehand. I'm just sprinkling some kosher salt, and then I'll put a little black pepper on both sides of the steak, and then I'm gonna cover it up and put it in the refrigerator and let it just kind of marinate in that for a while until I'm ready to cook later in the evening. Okay, so now it's later in the evening, and what I'm gonna do with the baked potatoes is put them in the microwave, cook them in the microwave until they're pretty much almost done. I use the potato setting on the microwave, and then after that, I will put them on the grill and let them finish cooking.
My potatoes are now done in the microwave, so while the steaks are grilling on one side, I'm gonna go ahead and prep the potatoes. So what I do is put some olive oil on the outside of the potato, all over the potato, and then I'll sprinkle kosher salt on the potato peel and roll it up in the aluminum foil and then put it on the grill. And that just makes the peel crisp up really nice. I love doing our potatoes this way. Sometimes I will actually, if I don't feel like going out to the grill, I'll actually do this in the oven as well after they have baked in the microwave. I'm gonna go ahead and flip the steaks over and then put the potatoes on the grill and let the steaks finish grilling. And then I'm gonna head inside and start making a side salad. I just wanna say these steaks are from Walmart. And I remember years ago, I would not buy my meat from Walmart. And also these steaks are from a grocery pickup haul that I did. I'll put the link for that video up in the card section, but the lady that picked out these steaks did an awesome job. So kudos to her. We tend to go simple for our side salads. I actually use just a bag salad from Aldi and all we put in the side salads are cucumbers and cheese and then a little bit of dressing. Yummy, look at those steaks, how delicious they look. Normally, I put butter on my steak after they've grilled, and I completely forgot to do that this time. But what I'm doing now is just putting on the fixings for Isabella. We love our loaded taters around here, and I do go ahead and slice her steak up so she doesn't have to try to cut it up herself. This meal is a very keto friendly meal. It is so good. You use my all time favorite Swaggerty brand sausage. I seriously need to be sponsored by Swaggerty. <laughs> I compliment them on that product all the time. I love this sausage. So you're just gonna fry that up in a pan and then you're gonna put in your one pound of hamburger meat, crumble that all up and brown it. It is so good, y'all. It's very delicious. While you're browning your hamburger meat and the sausage, you wanna go ahead and steam some broccoli in the microwave. And also, it calls for regular onions, but I was being lazy and didn't wanna cut up an actual onion, so I just used some green onions that I already had cut up. And that was some minced garlic in there as well. So the next step that you're gonna do is soften your cream cheese. You're gonna use eight ounces of cream cheese. Just soften that in the microwave. And then you're gonna pour in your heavy cream. I think I use about half a cup for this. What you're doing is making Alfredo sauce. So you wanna mix that up really good. And then you're gonna put in your half a cup of Parmesan cheese. And I was actually oh, low on Parmesan cheese. That was all we had left and go ahead and mix that all up. And then you're going to put in your steamed broccoli into the hamburger sausage mixture, mix that all up, and then you'll pour that Alfredo sauce on top of that and mix it all up. After you mix it all up in your pan, you're gonna go ahead and put it in a nine by 13 dish. I never spray the pan, you can if you want. It doesn't really stick to it, but like I said, go ahead and spray it if you want. And I bake it at 350 
until the mozzarella cheese that I'm putting on top until that is nice and melted and bubbly. This next meal is another very keto friendly meal. You're gonna use sausage, shrimp, Old Bay seasoning, minced garlic, coconut oil, chicken broth, green peppers, an onion, zucchini, and crushed red pepper. So you just wanna put some coconut oil in your pan, get that warm, and then you're going to put your shrimp in the pan and cook that until it is done. And you wanna season that with the Old Bay seasoning. I love this seasoning. It is so good on fish and shrimp. I found this recipe on Pinterest, so I will try to put the link for this recipe down in the description. It is really good. My husband really liked it as well. And the kids, I made it a little bit spicy, so the kids didn't really eat that much of it. I think Isabella ate some of the kielbasa sausage out of it, and Emmy might have had one or two pieces of shrimp. Another thing I like about this recipe, besides it being so delicious, is that you cook everything in one pan. The less dishes I have to wash, the better. So this is definitely a good one pan meal. Look how bright and colorful. Oh, it makes me want some more right now. I don't actually have video of this meal because we went to Disney on this day. It was on a Sunday. And we try to keep costs down at Disney, so we only have lunch there. And I wanted something quick and easy to make, so we decided on hot dogs, and this chili is homemade. I have the recipe, which I'm working on that video. It's a meal prep video, but it, this is a recipe from an old drive-in that my mom used to work at when she was a teenager. So be on the lookout for that video. It's a weekend keto meal prep. So this is the next day and I had been watching videos of Jen Chapin. If you don't follow her on Instagram or on YouTube, you are definitely missing out. So I was watching one of her videos and she was making these little jalapeno poppers. So I had to stop at the grocery store and get the stuff to make these as an appetizer for her next meal. They did not disappoint. They were delicious. So all you do is cut the jalapeno down the center and scrape out the seeds with a spoon. If you want it to be spicy, you can leave some of the seeds in it. And then just put a spoonful of cream cheese and I cut a pack of bacon in half and then just wrapped one slice of the bacon around the jalapeno popper. I roasted them in the oven on 400 degrees and the time length just depends on how you like your bacon. I like my bacon crispy, so I did mine a little bit longer. And like I said, they were so good, y'all. The 
the main entree of this meal was cilantro chicken burgers and this recipe came from Pinterest as well so I will link that down below these were really good and I made these on my meal prep video which will be coming out soon and I had froze those in the freezer so all I had to do was pull them out of the freezer and then I put them on the grill after they were thawed out a little bit and I served them over top of a little salad. I put some avocado on top. This is a keto meal as well. And because you're using chicken, which is very lean, I put the avocado on top to add some fat and then a little bit of ranch dressing on mine. And then Jason and Isabella used Italian dressing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and definitely do not forget to go down and click on that playlist and watch all of the other Wonderful Mamas videos. And again, thank you Mandy and Jennifer for hosting this open collaboration. Thanks so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.